Hi, I'm John. I'm here today to discuss some of the butane heat tools that we offer in our product line. All of the butane tools are shipped without butane, so when you receive the tools, you will need to fill them up. And how you do that is most of the refill valves are on the bottom of the torch. Simply insert the butane into the valve. You'll hear that noise. Once you see the butane starting to bubble up, it's full, and that's how you fill your butane torches. Our first torch is part number T-MT-4E. It's a micro torch. It has a burn time of approximately 30 minutes. To ignite this torch, simply depress the ignition switch down. To turn it off, remove your thumb from the ignition switch. To control the intensity of the flame, just move the control valve. Our next micro torch is our T-MTC-5. Has a burn time of approximately 60 minutes. It does have a safety switch. To turn the safety switch off, simply move the, the dial clockwise. To turn on the torch, remove the cap. To press the ignition switch, and then the hands-free switch, move that back towards the ignition switch. It does have a control valve on the other side to control the intensity of the flame. To turn it off, simply remove the hands-free switch forward. Our final microtorch is our T-MTC-7. This has a burn time of approximately 60 minutes. To ignite the torch, simply remove the cap. It has an on-off valve or switch here. Turn that into the on position. You should hear the butane. Then it has a safety switch I need to depress and hit the ignition switch. We'll keep the torch on. To turn it off, simply move the on-off switch to the off position and the torch will turn off. Our next torch is our T-MTC-70. This torch is unique in that it has two different tips. One can be a flameless tip, the other can convert to a pencil point flame. First I'm going to show you how to ignite the flameless tip. To do this, simply move the ignition switch forward and you should hear the gas flowing and also you should see that orange heat resonating in that flameless tip. I can control the intensity of the heat by either moving it to the right for more or to the left for less. Here's your re refill valve and to turn the torch off simply move the ignition switch back. This also has a tip here deflector shield to concentrate the heat in a certain area. Now let's talk about how this torch converts to a pencil point flame. First you want to make sure that the torch is cool. Once that's You've ensured that. Simply unscrew the top of the tip, remove that, move the ignition switch forward to ignite the flame. It will stay on. To control the intensity of the flame, just use your control valve to the right to extend it out, to the left to draw it back. This torch has a burn time of approximately two hours. This torch is our T-MTC-51. It's a pencil point torch with a burn time of approximately two hours. To ignite this torch, depress the safety valve, hit your ignition button, and then for hands free, move the lever back towards the ignition switch. It also has a control valve on the other side, which will control the intensity of the flame. Move it backwards to, to draw the flame back, or move it towards the tip, to extend the flame out. To turn it off, simply move the hands-free switch towards the nozzle or tip of the torch. This is our T-MTC-50. It's a metal canister butane torch with a pencil point flame. It has a burn time of approximately 90 minutes. To ignite the torch requires two steps. First, I'm going to take the ignition switch and rotate that counterclockwise and you should hear the gas flowing. Then. I depress the ignition switch to ignite the torch. I can move the, this, the ignition switch counterclockwise to extend the flame out or clockwise to draw the flame back which will also turn off the torch. Our final torch is our T-MTC-60. This is not a pencil point torch but has a much larger flame which is typically used with heavy wall heat shrink tubing. It has a burn time of approximately 50 minutes. To ignite the torch, what I'm going to do is move the safety switch down, depress the ignition switch, 
and move the hands-free switch backwards to keep it on. To control the intensity of the flame, your control valve is on the back. Simply move it backwards towards the ignition switch to lower the intensity of the flame or move it forward to increase the intensity. To turn the torch off, simply move the hands-free switch forward towards the tip.